welcome to a brand new season of Off Air. This is season two. Incredible. Woo! Yes, yay Woo! us. Yay Woo! you guys as well. And all the people that, okay, so when we took a break, um, a lot of people, like the first week, it was like, oh, when are you guys coming back? Second week, like, when are you guys coming back? Like, about a week or two ago, it was like, why are you coming back? Like, oh, you think you're, well, you think you're too nice, right? You don't want to come back. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. Is this how Rihanna felt when people were harassing about the album? Mm. I was like, we're coming back. We're coming we're back. Coming back soon. So we had a launch. Um, it was a lot of fun. And um, so many people came out, showed us love. And we are so, so appreciative. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to the Off Air gang. You guys actually called yourselves that before we actually decided. Yeah. Oh, now it's off a gang gang uh, yeah. thanks to miracle yeah so yeah so you guys actually started calling yourselves that before we you know decided that that would be the perfect you know mm-hmm. name for y'all yeah and we've got a little something special uh-huh. we're going to talk about that later a little something special that we're doing just to like reward the off air gang mm-hmm. um so we're going to be talking about that later but first um oh and happy new year it's february but oh, it. happy new year. Ha- you really said this happy new year okay so happy yeah, new year. let's 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 mm. move on. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, where are we starting from? Valentine's Day is the month. Valentine is gone. Valentine is gone. Where is your boyfriend? Where is your girlfriend? Oh, okay. Singles to to them. <laughs> and we're supposed to be single to stupo something something. Are you single to single to stupo? St- single? What kind of horribles? What is wrong with you Are people? You single single to stupid. stupid. <laughs> it's only single. It's not their fault. It's we said joke. It's an internet joke. I don't so. know. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> Somebody who is single to stupid here yeah, is upset. <laughs> That's your business. Anyways, so Valentine is tomorrow. Um, if you don't have your gifts ready for your partner, what shame. the hell is wrong with you? Shame. Why? Shame, shame. shame. Yeah, I shame mean. on you. And if you. If you're listening to us mm. or you're watching us and you're rapping, this is really for the ladies. If you're listening to us, you're watching us and you're rapping like yet another pair of, you know, boxers and singlet. Shame on you, lady. Shame, shame, shame. shame. Okay, well, they always said this whole boxers and singlet thing, but let's also put socks, handkerchiefs, um, face towels, um... Um, what else even, again? I don't even know and what I would do if somebody gave me a face towel as a gift. Plus, some girls also do. Oh, he only has one towel, and it's, it was it was in tatters, so I bought him new towels. That's great, but you could have bought him towels now, another let's, time. Now let's flip it because I know somebody that he likes to give. Um, he likes to give what he thinks are practical gifts. So he might just be like, "Oh, she was she was talking about you know needing a new blender, so I got her a new blender." That is a shitty Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> no, it's not. Like pots and if you get a set of pots and crap, oh gosh, no. I mean, it might be somebody that's very, very passionate about cooking, and it might be like you know, Maybe a, um, a pot set that's like worth um, a few hundred dollars or something. But generally, I think Valentine's Day the gifts should be quite romantic, like. Um, money like, is romantic. Yes, money so is lovely. But things like um, I like I, I like the idea of trips. I like the idea of trips. Vacation. Um, if you want to do, you know, you can do the cliche like perfume, everything. Um, mm-hmm. But I like like you know like a nice dinner or a nice dinner in Paris. Who do you think that is your financial class? <laughs> there are there are people there are people in my financial class. Thank you very much. Like he maybe he says to you, oh, you know, do you want to go? Do you want to go? They do that to you when you. They will soon. Ah. <laughs> maybe he'll say to you, do you want to have pasta? And then you'd be like, yeah. And then he goes, I know a nice little place in Rome. <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah. And then you go on his private jet, and then you visa. guys go to, you know. Anti visa. Those of us that have Nigerian passports, I don't have visa. Well, uh-huh. it's not my fault. So anyway, if you can't go to Rome and you can't go to France. You can definitely go to Cape Verde. Yes, yes, yes. If you go to Cape Verde, you can go to Ghana. If, and if you don't want to fly, you, I mean, there are these little, little resorts and stuff. Your papa. Uh, uh, yes, that kind of place. Or if you don't want to even travel out of the country, there are mm. places, you know, Equair Resorts, all these places that, you know, you can, or, and if you don't want to go far, you know what, stay in a hotel and have a staycation. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, I don't think people do that enough where you literally, you don't leave the country, you really don't even like leave the state or whatever, mm. but you're, you're just like enjoying a nice weekend in a nice away hotel. Away from home. Yes, away from home, away from the screaming kids, and you're just there chilling and you're being like served like food and everything and they make your bed for you and everything yes and you're like a nice fluffy robe um so yeah those are some ideas and i really don't want to look if you got like a very shitty valentine's um present or something just leave a comment we'll talk about it next time <laughs> but what's what the worst been, one 
the worst Valentine's. Um, the worst Valentine's gift or Valentine's Day I had was not even that the person forgot. Um, the person sent me an e card. E cards are free. Were you, were you a student? I, I can't, was I? Uh, I don't. I think I was in university. No, that's not an excuse. I would actually have rather he forgot. To be honest, we weren't like a proper proper couple, mm. but it was just kind of like an e card is. What is this? You know. Yeah. 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 So. Um, and the, the best one I got was, um, I got a charm bracelet. Mm -hmm. So about seven days, it was about seven days before Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Um, I got like, um, a charm. For each day. Yeah, and a little note. So just, I was supposed to put the charm there, so that was very nice. Uh, what about you? What's the best you got? Best? Um, it was a bunch of stuff. Like, I can't even remember all the things, but everything kept coming and I was on air. So And it... And uh, it was one of those days where we had like a bunch of artists over yeah. and stuff. So they kept bringing stuff, huge bouquet, this, that, and the other. And then there was this big box. And then I opened the box and guess what was this? I bought it more. Love this. That's my favorite fruit. And it's only around, it's only around like three months out of the year. Yeah. And so I was, so that was, out of all the other things that were expensive, that was what I was very excited about because I was just like, do you know, do you know what? I actually don't think that a good gift needs to be very expensive. I think mm -hmm. um, if you show that there's a kind of like thought process behind it, mm -hmm. um, I think for me, in my opinion, that's like what's more important. If there's, if it's actually a very, very thoughtful gift. Look, you know, sometimes and you don't have to understand the gift. If the person likes it, like flowers. Some guys are like, why? They're gonna oh, die anyway. Nice. If the girl I'm likes Nigerian. flowers, I'm Nigerian women don't like. I love you dated flowers. All Nigerian women. I love yes. flowers. <laughs> yeah, I love flowers. Yeah, I so, love getting flowers. I think it's just a lovely gesture, and it's just I don't I don't know any woman. Um, I don't I don't have any friends that if you were literally to give them like a really nice bouquet, not like a freaking five k bouquet. What don't is, try that shit. Five, ten k. You you can find that looks like somebody just picked some shit from their neighbor's garden. None of that shit. Have like a nice bouquet. If you're gonna give flowers, make sure. So what's your, the budget? I what's your guys' budget? If they want to give someone a nice bouquet of flowers. Okay, so there are different places. Fifteen k is not no. going to cut it. Yeah, flowers are it's not really. Flowers are expensive. I think like thirty like and above. Thirty yeah. and above. I'd say thirty. I'd rather yeah. give you the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Will you consider money um, romantic? And how much? I mean, you know. The, okay, okay, okay. Now forget. I know that you're, you're rich and everything. I was gonna say <laughs> the kind of caliber of lady I am. I mean, if you're gonna give me ten k, I'll be like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is this for airtime? <laughs> no, I mean, so yeah. So if you were to give someone, I mean, it depends on the level of the person. You know the level of the person you are dealing with. So if you give her ten k, she's gonna know that you feel like she's on the ten k level. I mean, or, or if you give, well, now see, it's weird. Should women be gifting? Money, see yes. somehow now. Money is not a gift. It's what? It's not money is not a gift. Money is not a it's gift. It's an inst As it's bring your bring, come. Let me what's your account number. Let me transfer money to you. It's not a gift. It's not a gift. Let me give you five hundred. It's not a gift. Then you give me five hundred. I was gonna say in it's terms of. It's not a gift you give to someone that like it's not a thought. Well, okay, sorry, it's not a thoughtful gift. As this would be difficult to date, Shia. Your wallet is too much. They gave, him, they gave him fast certificates one time. He was annoyed. Yeah. I remember. I want yeah. 500 How k is just because it's sitting on the table. So if, you're, if a baby gave you 500 k, will you be upset? I'm still trying to understand upset, how like, you'd be it's disappointed. Like, yeah, no, like, but if, if, you if you kind of maybe mentioned that, oh, I've, I need to, you know, um, I've got to pay for this. There's this, you know, I need to fix my car. I need to, and then somebody gives you 500 k. I'd be like, thank you very much. Well, what if she feels like? If someone like... gives me five hundred k, that's fine. If the person I'm dating as a gift says, mm -hmm. "Happy Valentine's Day," here's five hundred k. Like, come on. Okay. No, like, just no. put some food. That's too much of a man for so, you. Yeah. So she give you ten thousand dollars. Wow. It's wow, still. It's, it's, wow. I'm not saying I won't collect it. Oh, look at you. That was a look at you. I'm not saying I won't collect it. I'm just saying it is not a thoughtful gift. I don't think. Okay, okay, think about this like this. So she already looks at you. This one can cack for Africa. <laughs> you have nice car. There's not, as in what? She's like, what can I buy for this guy for gothic? And she cannot afford a Rolex. Take him on and a she vacation. decides, I'm going to give you $5,000. <laughs> what if she takes him on a vacation to a place that he hates? Mimi, you just said that. <laughs> I don't think you hates that place. He did not like this was was a box of You and I are different. <laughs> and it came with other things. It didn't just wrap about it. Came, it came with cash. It came with a bunch of things. Okay. I just don't so, think money is a 
I think mm. I'm starting to think you're quite high maintenance. Yep. Because I said money is not a thought. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I can yeah, understand yeah. if you said, okay, if she gave me 20k, I'd be like, what is this? But if somebody's giving me 500k, you better take it with a smile. Uh, it's not thought. It's you're not think like it's not. I'll thoughtful. work for that money. Like you guys, you know what? Money. As you're watching this, can you, <laughs> yeah. when you're commenting, can you yeah, let us know? Yes. Is is money a thoughtful gift? Can you yes speak to your no? friends? That's all. Yes. Oh Anyhow, yeah. What is gonna ha- handle? Is money a thoughtful gift? Yes, yes. or no? Simple. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, like we said um, earlier, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. and a lot of you will probably be thinking about, you know, having, I don't know, a sexy time playlist. Yes. 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 So, the question is should are there any Nigerian songs that can actually be on your sexy time playlist? Wait, first. This is how I saw this thing wow. on Twitter and I screamed because someone said, please, <laughs> Nigerian so songs should not be on your playlist. And I was like, that's it's not <laughs> Nobody wants to, nobody wants to have sex to Naira Mali's singing in the background, please. Um, no. there, there are there are some songs. There are actually some songs um, that remember this is a good few years back when oh oh gosh, what's his name? Um Yemi Alade and mm. Dip that song. Um, you can also there's a song that had praise, shady, um, uh, what the answer is no. Sixty nine, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I like, oh, I like, um, <laughs> I like Niniola's Oyi as well. Yeah. See, yeah. There are that's some. Like, that's like, yeah, Fireboy's album, the old album. No, nobody. Mm, it's nice to sing mm-hmm. along to, but yeah. I don't know about. It's, no, but but, but if you're thinking, <laughs> if you're thinking, party <laughs> scar, <laughs> 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 how? No, but, I said it depends on the style you do it. No, <laughs> but 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 for, for real, I think like if you're thinking about you know doing a striptease or something, I like Oyi. By Nino, like it's kind of got that feel, so you just you know. As this is like I don't want to hear any Nigerian song. <laughs> what, what, what okay, okay, okay. You know what? Name one song that has to be on your smashing playlist. Go, 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 go. All right, come on. Trading places. I see you. Mm-hmm. The old the weekend album. Okay. What's the word? But that sounds like, I mean, does it make you cry after? <laughs> no, no. But also, no, no, no. It, it is very important for us to now uh, clarify there are different types of sex playlists. There's a sex playlist of take your clothes off, I want to just. And then there's that's sex playlist of normally. oh I love you so much you're my moon and my star and my that's where what's that what's that there's that song um um blow out mm-hmm. the candle mm-hmm. that yeah. one but you know what somebody that actually should I'll make um, up to you that's yes, song. yes 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 exactly. um so a good a good like Nigerian artist that you know quite a few of their songs can be on people's playlists unfortunately not mine mm. Banky W I can't <laughs> I can't. <laughs> It's little. So yeah. imagine that you're in between. Maybe you put it on like shuffle or something, <laughs> and then you're in between. You know, coitus, and then your brother's voice comes on. It just, you know. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. It's it's just weird because so you would just, stop the. It would like if if it's if I mean sometimes. You the flow because no, but sometimes you're so into it that you're not listening to music anymore. Mm-hmm. But if it's one of those times that you know <laughs> seriously, it's I mean that sometimes you don't even hear. Let me. Let me tell you something, right? If you're doing you're you're doing the do, uh-huh. and you literally can remember every song that played, that means someone's not doing something right. Yeah. Yeah. So you should mm-hmm. after it should be like the beginning, and then it kind of just fades into the background. Mm-hmm. But if I'm doing it now, here, hey, hey, yeah, guy, yeah. <laughs> love goes, hey, yeah, guy, yeah. Okay, like something now. Bing, bing, bing. No. Every guy should have a sex playlist. Every, every guy. Every guy yeah. has a sex playlist. Everybody Shoot. has a sex playlist. Why it's so Every guy has a sex playlist. You said guy. What about women? Yeah. True. Actually, women. Oh, not the girls together. But you know, you are a different type of woman. But tell you what, though. Tell you what. There was one Banky song. There was one Banky song that you know I really liked. Um, is it Follow You Go? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that one I was like, I like, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good, but um, yeah, I think there are quite a few Banky uh, songs that can make it to the. Yes, yeah. like that song, for example. Yeah, um, I remember he had all these yeah. women in the video. Uh, yeah, that would actually go. See, see. Yeah. So there, are, there are some Nigerian. Songs. So you're still anti Nigerian songs on your no playlist. Can you listen wow. to Banky on your sex playlist? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> because. 
Because you're too close. No. <laughs> That's your boss. Hell no. Oh my god, my boss is. Hell no. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, you gotta stop. Stop. I <laughs> won't stop what they're doing. It's not working. It's not working. It's gonna be so offended. Like, really, guys? No, but there are other people. There are other people that are obviously not close to him, but it's just like, it's kind of. Because it so makes me. To. Yeah, it just makes me feel like he's in the room. So. <laughs> you know. And it's just, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. But I think everybody, like, lots of people definitely. I think lots of people even have it on their playlist. But um, I think when you're close to somebody, it's just, you know. Like, imagine it's kind of like. Just you're Can doing it, and then the the person's there yeah. singing, to you and you're just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know. Anyways, so yeah, everybody should have a playlist. You know what I think? I what? think um, so. If you're the kind of person that you know, you you like know that okay, this is gonna happen tonight. I think you should have like a pre sexy time playlist, like when you're getting ready. Yeah. Yeah. I like I, I like I like doing that. Like I just have these songs that you know. That's what you play Naira Mali on the mood. I will never play Naira Mali for sexy time. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible now. Unless I'm unless unless oh, maybe yeah. in, in some next oh, life I'm what, planning what, what's I'm that planning that to smash an agbero. My favorite line. My favorite line is to bandoko malole bye bye. Oh 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 something something um. Uh, something something go roti me. You know he said roti because you can't say you R. Oh, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I feel that there's some artists that they know that their songs have a certain effect on women, mm-hmm. so they probably just kind of play it for them. But I feel like if you're playing it for the other person, that's different from if you're playing it because you want to hear your own voice. Mm. That's you might as well just be having sex with yourself, really. That's weird. Yeah, people like that, the ones that you know, they have like a mirror. Like um, where their headboard is, and they're doing this, and they're like, <sighs> yeah, just weird. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? No, they're, they're like going at it, and they're looking at themselves. Do you give us sound effects? And as this is shy, as this is shy. No, because that's what they're doing. They're looking at themselves. They're looking at themselves in the mirror. I think I just got it wrong because it's camera. Okay, okay, okay. So next, you're not even. It's the beginning of season two. You can't be scarred just yet. Yeah, they've got plenty of stuff nah, for you. There's plenty of stuff for you. Yeah. So if you have any amazing Nigerian songs that you feel should be on, you know, everybody's sexy time playlist, let us know. Mm-hmm. Hit us up in the comment section. Mm-hmm. Because you know. know. And it's very important to every now and then update your, you know, playlist. There's no point having the same songs from like ten years ago or five years ago. Who has one playlist though? I don't know. They might just have like a like their main playlist. Well, you're supposed to have different ones. Why not? For different guys, right? If you have... <laughs> Whoa. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. I don't think... I don't think... Can you, you get this to... on camera? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the GoPro. I don't think... I don't think you need to go, like, to... I mean, there's some people that don't really need... I mean, I wouldn't put the energy into... into I mean, before. Playlists, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, there's different... It's just like, it's just like, you know, when you're single, like, there's some people that get, like, the nice lingerie, and there's some people that just get the, you know... Black, bra, red pants. <laughs> As in, <laughs> you understand? It's true. It's true. It's there's true. some people that you're like, okay, it's this true. person, you have to match. Everything has to be on point. And some people are just like, well, come and do and go, please. Mm. You know? Sometimes you might get, like, the big old, you know... <laughs> Pants. <laughs> no, 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 just a no, okay, 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 pants okay. Except your period. Okay, so there's some people. There's some people that get the whole, you know, wax legs, everything, everything, and then you know they get the candles, mm-hmm. and then some. I don't think everybody deserves that. No, no, no. everyone deserves that. Everybody deserves that. Speaking. We are only a few. I'm joking. Again. Continue, please. Speaking, Speaking of, of body, body yes. as a hair, hair on the body yes. or whatever. So I saw this picture. Mm-hmm. What's her name again? Slumflower. Yes, I saw this picture of Slumflower, and she's wearing um, I don't know what it is. Is it like a swimsuit or something? One of those ones that is the like high quite cut high cut, and she had like you know very very visible pubic hair, and she um, she's the same lady that did the whole what's it what was the movie? Saggy movie? boobs matter. Saggy boobs matter, and you know what? Honestly everyone to his or her own do whatever makes you feel good as long as you're not committing a crime but you know especially somebody that has a lingerie brand i'm like lift girl lift your girls lift yeah, them pick it up and the thing is there's so many different things out there so i didn't really agree with that but i'm like you know what if it makes you happy let's agree to this sis go off now the pubic hair thing i am very 
um because then she started this whole movement of um i think it was basically she's basically trying to say that you know women shouldn't be um shouldn't be like waxing or shouldn't you know, be made or compelled to wax their body hair um, by and, their and partner it's not just the in just not just the private areas it's talking about just body in general, hair like body armpit hair, hair and everything armpit hair so hair, yeah, look i saw that i was just like yeesh because i feel this is how i feel about people get, like i said if you want an afro go off have fun but this in country these, is too hot for you to be walking around it's like okay i'm going to speak for, for us women I'm actually this actually applies to both sexes actually yes. so this this country is too hot for you to be walking around with pubic hair that looks like an unkempt plot in lecky it's wrong <sighs> It is just jaga jaga like this. No, jaga, jaga. no. So you, this, I'm not saying you should be completely hairless, and this is not really anything to do about the opposite sex. I feel like for your own personal hygiene, you should like you know give it a trim, give it a you know. If you want, you can do like the full Brazilian, which is like no hair. You can do like the landing strip. You can do there's so many different things, or you can have like a bikini wax, which is just. See, let me just say now, I I am very, um, me and Wax are not friends. The last time I tried to do it, I nearly fell off the table. Never again. There's hair removal creams that work for you. Just put it on there and you stay on and then it's... After like 20, 30 minutes, you, you know, you First of all, up. if you read the instructions, Ex- you're not supposed to leave it for 20, 30 like, minutes. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. First of all, no, everybody, everybody's hair texture is different. It's always so funny. And, it, you know, it's, it's funny you bring this up. People always like, oh, your edges, your edges. Oh, my, my hair starts from my eyebrows. Great. That means I'm hairy. That means, look, I'm not going to wax. I will just put the nail or whatever it is on and stay for like, because... I have thick hair. It is what it is. When you have a lot of, when people say, "Oh, you have edges, you have edges," and uh, remember that it's it's all over. Cream. It's yeah. all over. So you, no. so I need so so why not just use the creams or whatever and get it yeah. off. But what I'm saying is, you know what? Don't now listen to Grammy and think, let me leave my own for 20, let me keep 30 you, minutes. You can, I don't because know. you just end up peeling off your parents. No, every, so you should know, you should just, know by no, now, as an adult <laughs> woman or man, you should know by now what your body can take or whatever. So... All you have to do is basically for the ladies especially make sure you have either vaseline or olive oil or even maybe even shea butter something to just cover you know the, the delicate sensitive parts you know and then you can then put the cream on the other part if not it will cook your lady parts and you'll be like it'll be like so, mm-hmm. anyway someone someone i know mm-hmm. should i talk it yeah uh, sure Someone I know, she was now, um, you know, obviously trying to tidy up and everything, and she she just went mad with the razor. Oh no! And she nah, ended up, see, and this nah. was like this was like um, someone in our household many years ago. So she went mad with the razor, and she ended up cutting herself. And then they and I saw her, and I'm just like, what's wrong? And she didn't want to say. So then somebody ended up somebody else ended up saying that she cut her periwinkle. <laughs> That's what they say. So I I feel like with you you need to be careful. See, I don't think waxing is bad. Waxing is not pain free, but it also gets like you end up, you know, having like some sort of exfoliation and everything, and it keeps the hair off for longer. Um, one of my friends actually proper properly did laser. Mm. Laser this. So I'm literally... considering that, but I'm just see again waxing is a bit see the wo- okay for people who you don't understand you know, you know that okay how do i okay let's please this is just wait, a poor wait. listen this is the poor as a poor illustration of what a woman's parts Tragedy. look like woman's but the woman sorry. basically would like she would shift your lips and be waxing then they'll go into your ass crack to your anus and be wa- hot wax and then be waxing that is just it's just not for me no so, it's, it's, to, to be honest, it's a very. I don't, why are you even touching my vagina lips in the first place? Like no, the first, not my the first time. Now. The first time, the first time I had a wax, it was very like I was like, okay, this is very interesting. And she's just chatting. Oh, my, how's work, ma? I'm like, um, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk right now. Can you just do this? But um, I've had like a lot of my friends do it. I've had a friend that she um she's actually based in London, and she's like they literally tell you, okay, hold, hold your lips. <laughs> And then, and then, then she says that, um, so when they've done the front, they now make you get, like, all, all on the, fours. and then you're supposed to, like, spread, <laughs> spread, <laughs> just spread your cheeks. But she, she says that that's the best thing ever, because she, you know, she likes the hair-free thing. If that's your, if that's what you want. How is the hair and your inners disturbing you? 
like, no, some people, no. Guys, you know, like some people, salad. some people actually don't like that. Yeah, the guys that no, toss no, no. salad. The guys yeah. that toss salad. So I don't, I don't think if that. See, I if forgot you, that this generation that eats ass. I mean. But if you, if that's what you want to do, no. But if you think about it, if you think about it, maybe they're concerned about you know their partners like giving them more sex and not like having fur balls or something. You know. First of all, you know that mean cobra. But wait, wait. This is very serious because one of the best compliments I've had um, about this show is that we entertain and we educate yes. so it's very important for us actually yes jokes educate. apart but this we've talked about the ladies but guys do not think that you can just walk around with that wild bush like hair oh, armpits and everything i can't stand guys with armpit hair i can't stand guys with fat yes, hair like don't mm-hmm. i don't mind dumping hair, I don't but i just like feel it. like just keep it mm-hmm. neat mm-hmm. if you're if you're um i don't know did, did, can you guys go to a salon and get that stuff sorted out what's like I, what's I, wrong I, like can you i don't like shave it off do you i shave it off i shave it off so do you have okay so do you have like a um you know how you have like the what's it called um Clippers for your hair. Yeah. Do you have you one for your? Hair. So you don't. So you don't right. manscape. No. Do you manscape? Why am I saying my own? Manscape. That's the term. Wait. 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 I use V. Yeah. I use V. Are you serious? I use V. I shaved the triangle. I use V. I use V. Wait. I thought you said you were hairless. Yeah. Yeah. He shaves. Triangle. But you know. You know why a lot of guys go hairless, right? Why? So should make it bigger. Yes, make yeah. it bigger. That's no, a lie. That's no, 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 a lie. How much bigger can it be? <laughs> no, I. No, that's not true. Okay, this is like I said. Like I said, this is like this is like a personal, you know, thing. I am not a. I mean, you know, hairless for for me. Uh, it doesn't. It depends on I how I feel. Take it but, off. But but if if I'm about to with a guy and he's completely hairless I just ask questions like why are you hairless because I don't like him because like it, I, it's hygiene yeah it's hygiene actually same it's way. Uh, uh, the same way it's hygiene for no but there's a way you can trim it that you know it's not like yeah, that's that's nobody has time put the V on put the V on and just that's the way you can trim it you can actually do you just when you're when you're in the shower when you're in the shower you just like give it a nice you know Scripting one. That's all. Script, script, script. How many minutes like for you? Hellish. Maybe ten minutes. Like wait, 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 wait. Five minutes. Yes, the guy. So minutes. I'm the only person who's using. Yeah, you. You, you, you are. Come off now. Like, <laughs> Give me like she's 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 what's the call? You see how thick the edges are. Like it doesn't come off. But well, we need to we need to actually tell people that like if you read the instructions it says three to five. Bemi's one thirty forty minutes is like. I just said that at forty minutes. I said 20. for me yeah twenty thirty minutes. That's, so that's, that's deep. deep. That's but but very a quick survey <laughs> a quick hair. survey in the studio. So how many of you guys are hairless? I'm currently hairless. It's all right. Are it's you hairless? It's mini it's 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 mini yeah. It's I'm currently hairless. Yeah, that's yeah, the best way. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> no, that's the best way. I, like, I just feel like it's no, nasty. Just, yeah, I mean, it's just, no, I feel that if you're gonna have hair, because there's some people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I talk oh, your gosh, what? Should I talk? So there's somebody, one of my friends, somebody I know. <laughs> so, um, basically, she's dating this guy, mm-hmm. and he would get very upset when she was hairless. Oh. So he would get like very upset when they were like having sex and she was hairless. So he used to ask her to like grow out her hair, like grow it, like grow it out. I didn't weave it all back. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, don't know. But so, he was so she, so she so she told me so she told me and I was just like I was like why why would you do that? So he literally he literally made her like go like literally oh, grow it out controlling my pubic hair though like what is this that is back to what this this um is it wow. slum what's her name slum, slum flower, flower. What, back to what she said i don't think you know um your your pubic hair how you keep it should be your decision but i feel like you should you know there should be personal hygiene in there i don't believe that in this country if you have like a full fro g- growing there they are not smelling. that you're that you can go like to work walk around walk upstairs walk downstairs and everything and and the hair retains moisture so i don't yeah mm. so it's the same thing yeah, yeah, so that's why no 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 i feel that if you have like locots 
<laughs> it's so okay. Why is it okay for women to shave and for guys to have looks? Yeah, why are you double standard? No, this wait, no, no. I, I didn't say. I didn't look. I just feel that it's a perfect personal thing. I just so feel, you like, feel like he's less of a man if he's. If he's no, I just feel like why he has. So, I just feel like so you have like a, a like a like some kind of complex. you know Ooh. complex that you're trying to be like <laughs> look at it it's big isn't it's it? hygiene. Yeah. 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 Just hygiene. Yeah. Speaking of that, okay. So what about like but other bodily hairs like legs, for example? Women like to shave their legs. Uh, some people arms. Yeah. Easy. See, I feel I will never forget there was somebody that I interviewed. Please, um, can you can you give us all the hints, please? I can't. She's um. She's a popular person. Shh. She's a popular. So I interviewed her, and she was wearing like you know, um, like a, I think she was wearing like a dress or a skirt, and we oh. sat down, and I looked down, and her legs, oh my gosh, like mini afro all over her legs. It was just really like thick, and and I can understand if maybe you shaved and you know it's been like a few days and you didn't you know get around to shaving, you got like the little stubble, but this one it was like. Molly, I could take like an Afro cool man. Can I give you more know. hints? No, you cannot give more hints. Shh. Oh, we're saying this is she had hairy legs. We said she killed anybody. Yeah, but it was, I was like, I was so distracted. So I'd ask her a question and my eyes would just drift down. I'd just look at the legs. I'd be like, yeah, so, okay. She'll answer me like, mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> why didn't you ask about her legs though? Like do you shave? That's a major turn. Oh my gosh. In an interview it wasn't about that. So you guys are you guys against uh, what about hairy legs on ladies? Oh, it's not no. Like it's it's, it's, it's major turn. No, it's like it's not oh, complete. Let me let me okay. Let me one is let me, let me give you let me give you an example. Okay, so all of you guys like Rihanna. Yeah? Yes. So no. you met like this no, no, Rihanna no, no, no. looking really please serious, like, yeah. okay, please. so so you met this rihanna looking girl amazing sexy whatever and then you guys are about to get down and she has hairy legs no so what, you still going through <laughs> what is wrong with Wait, I th- I, you you would stop you respond because of the because of hairy legs. <laughs> Do you know what it means? To be this, honest, this is why you don't have girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, like your high maintenance. Your wife is too to much. To be honest, to be honest, I don't know any. I don't have any male friends that even if like you could weave the hair you could weave the pubic hair i don't think you i have any cool. male friend that would stop I they would do it I've stopped. they would I've do it I've stopped. I've stopped. <laughs> sex. because of pubic hair you <laughs> said what you, <laughs> you did what sex you stopped sex that means you didn't really want to sleep I with her no 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 it's not that. come on i was already there i don't but think trust me the pubic hair was so bad i was like no i can't do shit did you, like, did you tell was, her that it no was i didn't tell her it was because so, of pubic so what did you tell her i was just like um like this is not right. I know, I know, you know, eventually, I ended up having to say yeah. it's not good. Why did you why did I flip her? You know what? Because it's a tough In my life, oh my God, in my just, life, in my in my 30 something years on this planet Earth, I've never heard of a guy actually not having to sex God, because of pubic I've hair. Like, I know, I know um, one of my one of my male friends, he did it. And then he was complaining afterwards, but he still did it. Oh, so <laughs> well. So on that note, um, thank you so much for watching. We didn't offend anyone. Oh yes, we did. Well, it's Unless okay. you're one of those like freaky big pubic hair wearing people, then you know. Shave your bush. Yes. Yes. Shave it. Trim the bush. Shave it. Trim the bush. Trim the bush. What is this? I don't know. Okay, so we are giving away some. We want to give away some amazing gifts. This is strictly for the off air gang. Gang, gang. Yes. So what we want you to do is recreate our promo, mm-hmm. po- um, our promo um, pose. So the see no evil, hear no evil, uh, speak no evil. And there's going to be more information on our Instagram page, which is down here. Mm-hmm. So make sure you take that picture. Get your friends to you know take the picture and then follow the instructions, and you could win something fantastic. Yes. Shout out to the Off Air Gang. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Remember, keep yourself clean, trim, 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 and update your sex time playlist. <laughs> don't say we don't do nothing for y'all. Bye. Trim, trim, trim.